All right, morning update. All this haze is yeast created, and you can tell it's popping off because my airlock, right? So there's the bottom of the airlock. When there's no pressure, it lies flat. So there's some kind of action going on here. I'm gonna go shooting right now. I expect that when I get back, this will be fully, fully popped off. Anyway, here's our part of our gear for today's shoot. Only bring in one, ri uh, two rifles and a couple handguns. Yeah. We get a TV here. Hi, what can I get for you? Hi, I'll have a grande flat white. And can we get a grande skinny caramel macchiato? A grande flat white and a grande hot skinny caramel macchiato? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Gracias. Thank you. All right, we'll see you up here. He brought cronuts, right? So that's a, mm. it's basically a croissant, right? That they make into a donut. Yep. That's what a cronut refers to? Yep. Very nice. Nice to meet you. Thanks, Izzy. Hey, what's up, guys? I got uh, Uncle Jeremy here. We're going shooting right now, but uh, before we, you know, whoa, look at this guy. <laughs> He's gonna be rally car expert. He almost, he almost like lost traction in the back, <laughs> trying to get around me in his truck. Anyway. Uh, we're gonna go shooting right now. We're gonna go sight in Jeremy's AR that he got that he just built up. And uh, just wanted to say thanks to everybody here from uh, Cutlery Lover and thanks to Cutlery Lover as well for giving me a shout out on his channel. It really means a lot to me. I really appreciate it. If you're coming from Cutlery Lover's channel, then you're really not watching my videos. Four or five videos ago, I posted up a video. I'm giving away a Baofeng dual band radio. So I'll post the link. You can go check that out. And yeah, all you gotta be is a subscriber and comment. Real easy stuff, no big deal, and uh, keep watching for more videos. So, onward to the shooting. Got peppered, man. Boom! So, I mean, we're all here, but it's just, it got peppered. I couldn't see anything, so. All right, we gotta do a little bit better. Here you go. Okay, so we started here. <laughs> started here, got up to here, ran it over here, and came back, and then that's. Is that 22? Yeah. Uh, 556, five, 223. Yeah. Oh, that's in Holdo, right? Yeah, that's yeah. right. I always forget. And this was me. <laughs> no, I was sighting it in. It's. Yeah. yeah. Fresh out of the box. Okay, that was mission successful at Burrow Canyon. I gotta say, that was a really nice range. The two range officers that were running the rifle range were top notch. They were absolutely on any of the rules, but they weren't dicks about it. That's the thing with ranges is, you know, range officers can come across as being a little overbearing. They're taking things a little too seriously. 
got to talk to him a little bit and they're like, hey, you know, safety is the is the number one thing, but everybody, we want everybody to have a good time. So we just, we, we kind of ratcheted it up as we need to with the severity of what everybody's doing. You know, when the rain's cold, you got to stay off, off the line. That was about the only thing they ever did is pick up a bullhorn and say, hey, off the line, red shirt. <laughs> no, but seriously, it was it was a good time. We got Jeremy got his gun sighted in, happy. What's up next? Anybody like coffee? Sure. All right. I need spray paint. I need AK-47 certified spray paint. Go through and ask. Go through and ask. Do you excuse me? Where's your AK-47 spray paint? Mikhail Kalishnikov approved AK-47 spray spray paint. Hey, you got an orange dot on your back. No, they're they're getting rid of a lot of this stuff and they're replacing it with like par paracord. Wait, Way more popular. You're gonna get rid of all this stuff up here? Yeah. Is it? Is it? Yeah, so that's the Realtree pattern branded Carhartt shirt. I didn't realize it looked Realtree Realtree's an actual pattern, like it's a copyright pattern. This? I'm gonna get one of these when it gets colder. That's not bad. But wear that Halloween for Ben running around like a little animal. Come on. Blocking traffic for Ben. All right. All right. All right. What we got? Here? Ooh, my chronometers. Yeah, yeah, okay. Uh -huh. All right, so yeah, let's go with the green and sand. Don't they already have a can that makes it all at once? Yeah, that'd be hilarious. It's like, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. do you guys got to get a template or something like that? Or no, uh, so what you do is you base layer the darker color yeah. down, yeah. and then you, you use the little plastic bags. Okay. From um, fruit, those little crosshatch bags. Oh, okay. I'm not doing camouflage. I'm just doing like a, a, a base layer with a sure, with sure, a light sure. overcoat. Okay, okay. That look good, right? Okay. Okay. So we're gonna show you what we shot today. This is Jeremy's 80 percenter. Uncle Jeremy's 80 percenter that he built. Wow. Wow. With the like most extreme muzzle break possible. <laughs> That's it, JP Enterprise muscle puzzle break. The guys at the, uh, oh, it's key mod. Key mod for in, for grip. You built that? I, that danger. Yeah. I danger. Danger? danger. Danger? No, so it, it's all anodized. It comes anodized. Oh, this, wow. This, uh, and the CNC machine carves out the inside. Right. Oh. Uh, I noticed that, Josh, and I looked at the other, the other guy. It's, you clean it off. It, it wipes off. Oh, it does? Yeah, like I use my... All his had the same mark. I just spit on it. It's gone. Oh, great. Thanks for spitting on my job. Yeah. <laughs> it belongs to him now. He licked it. <laughs> when we were shooting in the range, the uh, the guys next to us all thought we were shooting 308 because of all the gas coming off that block. So, if you go to the range a lot and you got people next to you, this might not be the gun to, or that might not be the gas block to get. Or not gas block. Muzzle brake. Yeah. Nice case, though. I'm really into this case. Yeah. yeah. You see the wheels? Yeah, it's, oh. it's a wheelie cool baby. 200 bucks on Amazon. And yeah, this is Daddy's gun. <gasps> <laughs> oh, so we spray paint. Daddy's 80% That's Daddy's 80%. Yep. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, no, no, no. The reason for the little black thing is the uh, featureless build. So I can actually run magazine, regular magazines without having to have a uh, magazine I'm restrictor. Which is a California dumb thing. But yeah, folded metal, hardened steel. I did the hardening. I folded the, the receiver. I just bought paint, actually, now that I know the thing shoots well. So I'm gonna repaint it. So that's that, those are the rifles. All right. Taurus. <coughs> Jump. Yeah, PT-145 that Stop. stopped shooting for some reason. Really liked primer strike, so we didn't even get to fire it. That sucked. And my little kel -Tec. or not kel -Tec. Ruger LCP. Fun little guy to shoot. Yeah, fun. Recoils way more than it probably should, but. So big thing, like big, big, awesome item that I can't say enough about are these Leupold binoculars. The BX3 Mojave. Really, really nice when we were sighting in the AR that someone was able to sit there and spot where we were shooting. I brought my right, my 22 takedown, but I didn't shoot it. 22 is more precious than gold. Please gun? No. No. Gun. Sorry, not today, bud. You got a few more years. Yeah. Maybe, maybe one more. Maybe when you learn how to listen. Okay, Uncle Jeremy left. Rally. And Ben's not happy. Rally. So Uncle Tranley and I are gonna have this beer. Rally. Rally. Thank you. Thank you.
Thank you. <laughs> oh, that is so good. This is the universal friend. I am the universal friend. Wow. Hmm. You know, I've been getting into sours. I had my first, it was in the, one of the breweries down there. Did you try this? No. Uh, the Fruitlands? This is the one from the last uh, vlog. Sour, slightly sour. Get out of my pocket! Get out of my pocket! <laughs> Get out of Time to check in on the cider. Come on, here we go. All right, we got activity. See those bubbles? Yeah. There's the there's the top. That's the yeasties. I'm gonna give it a swirl. And I'm gonna smell, uh, what I don't wanna smell is sulfury type smells. And there's no sulfur. So, so that implies that the yeast says uh, it contains nutrients. And if it didn't have yeast nutrients, there would be a lot of sulfury type smells. So it smells like we're good to go. Let's, let's see where, what temperature we're at. A little high on the temperature. We gotta bring that down here. It's probably because it was on the table. I'm gonna put this in the closet. Oh yeah, there we go. Look at this, look at the activity here. Those are all little yeast oxygen byproducts. I'm sorry, carbon dioxide byproducts. So this is brewery closet. Here's the cider. Here is my apple wine, which is sitting at around 60%. I'm sorry, 16%. That needs to go into the deep freezer in the garage. Here is where the apple wine exploded all over the bucket. This is my bottling bucket. There's an extra carboy. That's my brew vessel for beer. Assorted stuff is in here. This is poorly organized right now. Um, I, I, I realize that, but hey, I only got a closet. And then down here, this is all bottling supplies. These are bottles. This is a bottle uh, drying rack, sugar, more bottles. I think there's mead in there. I've actually got to get in there and check. You should drink some more mead. Hey guys, so quick shout out before I end today. Jake Alexander Bryant on his Canon G7X video test footage 60 FPS. He responded to my noob question about how to get a better frame rate and get that kind of eerie crisp 60 frames per second effect that I'm trying for. And that's what this sample is. I'm, I'm, I'm going and trying to set the aperture and the brightness and, and all that stuff manually and setting my own ISO. So hopefully this is gonna pop better than a lot of the other stuff that I've been doing is. Cause I know this camera can do better footage. I'm just not able to get it out. And that's my own naivete that causes that. Anyway, I had a really fun day today with, with Uncle Jeremy getting his AR sighted in. And I think we're gonna do that in the future. So we went to Burrow Canyon range in the San Gabriel Mountain, and I think next time we're gonna go to Angeles. So, yeah, very cool. Tomorrow is Labor Day, and we should have some fun going on with that. So see you guys tomorrow.